All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably the last Nerf LMTD blaster I will ever buy. Unless it's amazing, because let's be honest, I've gone through hundreds, if not close to a thousand dollars in Nerf LMTD blasters, and they've never really been that good. I'm hoping today's blaster will change all that. And here we go, another big package. Definitely has some awesome box art. This right here is the Nerf LMTD League of Legends Jinx Fishbones. Now the Fishbones is a massive shark themed rocket launcher. I'm gonna get it out of the package today, check it out and see if it is in fact worth the extremely expensive price tag I paid for this thing. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. First things first, we gotta get this thing out of the package. I mean, it's looking cool. Ooh. I was wondering if this stuff would snap together or if they would in fact just put it all in one piece and it looks like it is for the most part. Here we have a pretty cool display stand with some graphics on it. We do have a couple fins which just snap in place down here. Seems like once they're in, they're in. Okay, that's a lot, that's a lot of fun. After getting this blaster out of the package, I'm actually very happy with how this thing looks. The blaster just looks great. I mean, with the big shark head on the front, the shark jaws actually close, and when you prime the blaster, they open up. Now the mechanism you see up here is spring powered. There's no batteries. This fires three darts, kind of like a sledge fire as a shotgun blast. And when you prime it, it rotates the cylinder. But the real question is, is it good? Now, before we test this blaster's performance, I do wanna take a moment to really talk about the cosmetic work. I really wanna talk about the cosplay nature of this blaster. I actually know a local cosplayer that wants to use this as Jinx in a cosplay photo shoot. And in that regard, I think this thing is a steal. Looking at 3D files to print this out and actually paint it and make it look like this, that's a lot of work. So considering all that, I would say it's a good deal. Now, if you're looking to actually run around at maybe a Nerf event and use this as your primary blaster, that's gonna be interesting. And I say that because, well, you'll see. Let's go ahead and get some chronograph readings and check out this blaster's performance. All right, because this blaster right here is a shotgun, I'll be a little bit forgiving on the chronograph numbers. I've noticed it's pretty difficult for Hasbro to get good performance when shooting three full-sized elite darts. Oh man, it's hard to get, it's hard to get it. It's so big. All right, that's a 57. So actually not horrible considering we're shooting three darts. Let's try that again. A respectable 71, much better. And 65. I think for a shotgun blaster, that's not horrible. I mean, it's not great, don't get me wrong, but it's at least passable. Let's see how accurate this blaster is at 30 feet. Typically, I'm not a fan of elite darts, but in this case, with a shotgun blast, it actually might be preferred. Let's check it out. We got a couple. They're all over the place. So in conclusion, the Jinx Fishbones is Pretty cool looking. We can't deny how cool this thing looks. Now, as far as performance is considered, yeah, it's your standard, you know, low end performance, nothing too crazy. I do like the fact that it's a shotgun. That's cool. It did throw me off because I was hoping this thing was a rocket launcher, but from looking at the past teaser almost a year ago now, they did show that it was a shotgun blasting type of blaster. Now, some of you are probably asking the question, hey, Dr. Flux, what are you gonna do with this thing now? And to be honest, it's probably gonna sit there for quite a while because it looks amazing. This is one of the first places people see when they come down to Flux Labs. So be a nice thing to just show in the background. As far as my concern in the beginning of this video, I don't know about Nerf LMTD. It's gonna have to be something very special for me to wanna to jump in and buy something like this again. I am happy with this purchase. I think the, the only really good thing I ever got from the Nerf LMTD line was probably the Halo Needler. I really did like that. I would say all the other Hasbro LMTD stuff has been kind of a fail in my opinion. Don't even get me started on a Mandalorian blaster. That pretty much wraps it up. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging.